Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Our favorite ninja are pretty skilled, but actually they've been captured quite a lot of times throughout the 11 seasons and the other installments that Ninjago has given us. So in this video, we are going to be counting down every single time the ninja were captured. And this will exclude anything like Dark Island Trilogy, which are canon but not part of the TV show. So yeah, mainly because I haven't read those and they're not again part of the TV show. And a capture will count as any time that the ninja have ended up in the enemy's hands, whether it be willingly, and there are some instances where the ninja have willingly been captured as part of their plan, or whether it be obviously not willingly and the ninja are just forcefully captured by the villain. So with that, we'll begin off with the pilots for our count. The pilots are only 44 minutes, but actually we've got quite a lot of captures to start out the series. Pretty much J, Cole, and Zane get themselves captured by the skeleton army only briefly for about 5 minutes in the Forest of Tranquility before they very easily escape. So that happens, they get tied up to a tree. And then also the reason that this exists and the reason Kai becomes a ninja is because Nia gets captured and kidnapped by Lord Garmanon and the skeleton army. So already we have 4 captures here. Wu journeys to the underworld but he's not captured there and Kai is not at any point captured in the pilots. So here is our count off. Zane, Jay, Cole, and Nia all will start off the series with one capture. Moving into Season 1, since Nia takes on the identity of Samurai X, she actually gets captured quite a bit in Season 1. Starting out with Episode 6, the four original ninja get captured by the Serpentine and are forced to fight Samurai X who has also been captured in the city of Ouroboros. Then in Episode 8, Nia briefly gets captured and put on the roller coaster where she is supposed to be sent to her death but luckily is saved by Jay. Then we also have episode 11 in which pretty much everyone gets captured in this episode. We have all four original ninja, Nia, and Wu all end up captured in this episode. Now for Lloyd, Lloyd does get captured a few times in this season as well. He gets captured by the Hypnobri in episode 2 when Scales begins to take control and the Hypnobri begin to turn on Lloyd. And then of course he's also kidnapped for a good portion of the season 2. Starting in episode 6 and ending in episode 10, he has been captured by the Serpentine. So yeah, anyways, this really added on to our counters. Nia will now lead us off with four captures, while everyone else will have added a capture to their list too, except Garmanon, of course, since Garmanon is still a villain at this point. So yeah, Kai has two, Zane has three, Jay has three, Cole has three, Lloyd has two, and Wu has one at this point. You may be surprised to hear that the filler section of season two actually has quite a bit of captures. Jay starts out the season getting captured by the Serpentine Generals in episode 14. Then in episode 16, the four ninja and Lloyd all get captured by a bunch of school children. Pretty embarrassing. And then that should be about it for the filler section. Now moving into the Dark Island section, not too much happens until episode 24 when Neo once again gets captured by Garmanon at the end and then turned evil. Then on top of that, Jay and Cole also turn evil in episode 26 which I will count as a capture, although that is kind of debatable. Zane is shown evil in episode 26, but this is an animation error as there is no way he could have been corrupted due to the fact that the Overlord does not breathe down any dark matter during the final battle. So yeah, at the end of the day, Kai's been captured three times, Zane has been captured four times, Jay will go all the way up to six, adding three captures to his counter, Cole is five, Nia is five, Lloyd is three, Wu is still one, but Garmanon actually, and I forgot to mention this earlier, Garmanon does get captured twice in the season. He gets captured by the Overlord when he's possessed, so I'll count that. And also he gets captured and locked in the brig by the pirates, which again is pretty embarrassing for him. Rebooted will be a bit friendlier to the ninja. Kai obviously does get captured when his car stunt goes wrong in, I think that was episode 32. And then we also have Lloyd who is being hunted by the Overlord the entire season and does get captured during the Curse of the Golden Master episode. And then also, Wu is captured and turned evil. He gets captured in the very first episode, although he is turned evil about two episodes later. And then Garmanon is briefly captured in Curse of the Golden Master too, but they quickly dispose of him and throw him into the ocean. But I'll still count this as a capture. So yeah, Kai is four now, Lloyd is four, Wu is two, and now Garmanon is at three. Tournament of Elements is kind of a no-brainer, considering everyone who went to Chen's Island got captured. So that will be everyone on the list except Wu adding one capture to their list. Of course, all of the ninja have been captured due to Chen needing their elemental powers. Zane gets captured before the season starts, while Garvanon and Nia both get captured in episode 41. 
Wu luckily escapes the season without being captured at all since he never goes to the island. So at the end of the day, everyone except Wu has added one capture to their list since pretty much everyone is needed to complete the spell in Tournament of Elements except for Garmadon. But yeah, Garmadon also gets captured when their infiltration into the temple goes wrong. Possession is also pretty nice to our ninja, except for Lloyd, because Lloyd is captured for the majority of the season from episode 45 to 52. He is being possessed by Moro. And also, Wu, I guess, I was kind of wondering if I should include this on the list, but Wu, as part of their plan to invade Styx, does willingly get captured in episode 53, but it's really only for a few minutes because he very easily escapes using his dragon. So I decided to count this since the capture is still a capture. But yeah, I was kind of wondering whether to count this at all. So yeah, now we will have counts added to Lloyd and Wu. So Lloyd has six now and Wu has three captures. And this will be the last we see of Garmanon for a while since Garmanon is now dead. Unfortunately, Skybound is pretty mean to our ninja because all six of them actually get captured twice. So first of all, we have Wu who gets captured by Nauticon and is captured for the majority of the season, so only one will be added to Wu, but the six ninja are captured twice in the season. First of all, they are arrested, and although the police technically aren't villains, arrests will be counted as captures on this list. And then of course, all of them are captured by Nauticon at some point. Even Nia and Jay who never go inside the blade, or are never captured inside the blade, but they are captured by Nauticon in episode 62 for Nia, and episode 59, I believe, for Jay. So yeah, at the end of the day, everyone will be adding at least one count, except Garmanon, of course, since Garmanon is technically dead at this point. So Kai has 7, Zayn has 7, Jay has 9, Cole has 8, Nia has 8, Lloyd has 8, and Wu has 4. This section will be pretty quick, because only one capture will be added to the list for Day of the Departed. Cole is captured by Yang briefly in the temple. So yeah, that'll only add one capture to the list, so now Cole will be at 9 captures. Hands of Time is also pretty nice on our ninja, and like Possession, not too many captures are going to be added to this list. We have Wu who is captured from episode 70 to episode 73, and although his capture is pretty brutal, it only lasts a few episodes. And then also we have Kai and Nia, who are blackmailed by the Time Twins into retrieving the Reversal Blade, and are momentarily captured by them during episode 72 and episode 73, and then they're all released in that same episode. So for this season, Kai will go up to 8, Nia will go up to 9, and Wu will go up to 5 captures. So the pattern ever since season 2 has been bad good, and this season will continue the pattern. Season 8 is especially rough on Cole and Wu, who get captured twice in this season. Cole of course gets captured in episode 77, and then Wu is captured before the season even starts. And then of course in episode 80, all of the ninja except Lloyd, and including Wu, also get captured at the end of episode 80. And then of course Lloyd, who gets captured at the end of episode 81, and is still captured throughout episode 82, and then he is later freed. So our count now will be Kai at 9, Zayn at 8, Jay at 10, Cole at 11, Nia at 10, Lloyd at 9, and Wu at 7. Hunted is going to break the pattern because this is also a pretty bad season in terms of captures. So all the ninja in the first realm get captured, and most of them actually get captured twice. So Kai, Zayn, and Jay end up getting captured twice, because the three are captured first in episode 85, and then everyone, including Cole and Wu, are all captured in episode 92. So we will add two captures to Kai, Zayn, and Jay, and one capture to Cole and Wu. Then we also have Garbanon, who will get his first capture since season 4, and that is because he is arrested at the end of Hunted. So now Kai will be at 11, Zane at 10, Jay at 12, Cole at 12, Nia at 10, Lloyd at 9, Wu at 8, and Garmanon at 5. Lloyd and Nia have not changed since they do not get captured in Hunted. March of the Oni is going to be our nicest season yet, and this is because nobody gets captured. Lloyd and Garmanon narrowly avoid getting captured by the Oni. While Cole does fall into the darkness, he does not actually get captured or petrified, so that will not count as a capture on this list. And now, moving into Season 11, we haven't seen all of Season 11 yet, but at the time this video was released, 8 episodes of Season 11 have been released so far. The ninja actually do get captured by Asphira in Episode 5, where she chains them to the wall and tries to kill them, but fails due to their escape in Episode 7. So that is going to be all for this list, and the final list. Kai has 12, Zane has 11, Jay has 13, Cole has 13, Nia has 11, Lloyd has 10, Wu has 8, and Garmanon has 5. So tied for first place would be Jay and Cole, 
and the least is obviously Garmadon, considering he's a villain for most of the series. And of course, this list includes all TV installments, including the first eight episodes of season 11. And it does not include side stories that are canon, such as Dark Island Trilogy. This also includes off-screen captures such as Zane before season 4 or Wu before season 8. Since Skybound is not canon, none of the captures that occur in it are canon. So if you want the true canon amount of captures for the ninja, erase 2 from the 6th ninja and erase 1 from Wu. And that's going to be all for our countdown. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone ever you know. If I missed a capture, I do apologize for it. Please let me know down in the comment section below if I didn't miss a capture and what that capture is. And of course, I do apologize for the inconvenience. So yeah, thanks for watching this video and I will see you next time.